Hey guys, welcome once again to Journey Lion Williams Adventures. It's William here. It's Sunday morning here in the Philippines. I guess it's about 9.30 a.m. And I wanted to come back to you with a short subject that's been talked about very much on YouTube a lot. It's been talked about quite a bit, but I think that we need to just discuss it again. And that's the subject of choosing the right Filipino for those of you that are coming to the Philippines or in LDRs. And there's a lot of people making bad choices, uh, everyone. And that's why it cannot be talked about enough uh, because the wrong choice in Filipinas, it, it can make you have a disaster in your expat adventure before it even gets started. We talk about the family, we talk about money and all those different things that you gotta have right. You gotta recognize red flags. You got to know those things, guys, and be able to recognize them when you see them. So that's what we're going to talk about, choosing the right Filipina and not ignoring the red flags, guys, when they're there. All right, we'll be right back. That's what we're going to talk about for a little while, okay? So, guys, one of the, one of the main things is that what we got to do is stop letting the head without the brain dictate to who us who our relationship is going to be with a lot of us were entrepreneurs we were men that were successful in the united states or canada or wherever we came from and then it seems like when we get off the plane or when you get in the camera with a filipina that's dancing looking beautiful your brains go out the window and you're using the other head to make all your decisions guys are sending money building houses with women they've never met uh, guys this has got this stuff's got to stop because it keeps happening and it keeps happening. You know, it doesn't matter how beautiful a woman is dancing in, in, you know, from the Philippines in a camera. You gotta use common sense, guys. Never send money to somebody that you have not met in person. Always remember that. That is a rule number one. So how do you choose the right Filipina? Well, she's not gonna be asking you for money in a day. She's not gonna be telling you she loved you after two days. You can't love somebody after two days, guys. You know that, and I know that. So we need to stop listening to that. It's not true. Um, we need to make better choices. Also, guys, it really does matter what family and the family background that you're, the girl that you're choosing comes from. That's not just here in the Philippines, but everywhere, but more so in the Philippines. Because if she comes out of poverty, that means if you join with her, it's putting you in poverty. You're going to be the main breadwinner. If she has children, uh, you need to understand if you're going to be able to accept that or not, guys. These are things that you have to have, know your deal breakers before you get involved. And you won't be making bad choices, guys. So you got to know what your deal breakers are. What are you going to accept? And what are you not going to accept? Used to be a movie because Why Did I Get Married by Tyler Perry, Janet Jackson, and a lot of other uh, good actors were in that movie. And in it, they said there was an 80-20 rule. If you found somebody was 80% of what you were looking for, would you get rid of them and go back and try to find the other 20? So guys, this is the question that we have to ask ourselves, not even the person that we're meeting. And for those of you that are LDRs, I wanna say this, remember this, doesn't matter how long you've been in an LDR with that woman or that man if you're a female, if you've never met them in person, you really don't know them. Anybody can put their best foot forward for a while, even for a year, you know, or more, if you've never met them in person. Because they, you didn't see their real moods. You didn't see them up close and personal. A lot of guys are sending money and doing, and they're putting all their eggs in one basket of somebody they've never met in person, guys. This is a mistake. It's a red flag. If it's gonna work, it's gonna work. And this doesn't matter what country you're in. So I would say, we got to choose better. We got to choose the better family. Check out the family. If that family is situated and that family and that mother and father, if he's still living, has character, then that Filipina is going to have good character. And I'll say what I heard on other channels, which I believe to be true. If you chose to take that woman, I'm not doing that, but if you chose to take that woman to live in the USA, if she has character in the Philippines, she'll probably have the same character in another country. It really doesn't matter. It's all in the choice you make. So if you choose to do that, do that, guys. That's okay. 
If you choose to come to the Philippines and be an expat and live here, do that. But just be certain of your choice. Vet them well. Remember that, guys. Vet them well. See if you can coexist with the family. If, they, which, if that woman that has 80% of what you want, if she has a child, would you throw her back in the ocean looking for the 20? Or is children an absolute no? Is it a deal breaker? If it is, then make that choice. Know that. There's thousands upon millions of Filipinas that are eligible here in the Philippines for foreigners. Of course, they have their preference of who they want to date, but there's thousands and thousands of women to choose from, much more so than in Europe or the United States. It's a bigger pool, guys, but you have to take your time because believe me when I tell you this, the choice you make in your relationship is going to make or break if you become an expat, whether you're successful or whether you're not. Because if they take you down the rabbit hole and they're in it for the game, you're going to lose because they know their country better than you. Believe me, they do. So making sure that you got a girl, and especially if there's age gaps, you got to understand there's going to be trade-offs. If she's giving you 80% of what you want, then you have to be satisfied that you're not getting the other 20. Because nobody is 100% of what either of us want. Remember, we bring baggage to the table too, guys. Remember to subscribe and like. If this subject is hitting you and you want to comment, comment, guys. We love comments here at Junie Lion Williams Adventures. Those of you that want to become channel members, we shout out to Evan who became a channel member. Come on and join the channel. Look at our channel links and go in there. We have different levels of membership with different perks. We'd be glad to have you at Junie Lyon Williams Tribe, at their crew, at their community. Come on, guys. You believe that this content is helping you and you want to give us a super chat or something? You can still do that in the video. It just helps us create more content, go more places, and show you more things. So how do I not ignore the red flags? Well, number one, you can't be blinded by the beauty. Filipinas are beautiful women, and you cannot be blinded because they dancing in the camera, because they're wearing sexy clothes and they're dancing for you and telling you they love you before they even met you guys. Remember in mythology, there used to be things called the sirens, that they would be from a tropical island, they would sing a song that would lure the men to their destruction and the ships would crash. There's sirens here, guys, and they can sing some beautiful songs, but don't let them take you and make you shipwreck. Remember, use your brain. Use the head that thinks and you'll be way better off in the long run. Because if you choose the right Filipina, you're getting something really good, something really special. Somebody got to stick with you through thick and thin, through the good times and the bad. But on the other side of the, of the coin, if you get a bad one, she'll take you for everything you got, guys. It's been well documented. Go through YouTube and look at the horror stories of guys that went shipwrecked because somebody sung them a tune and they listened. And when they listened to that tune, they opened their wallet. And when, by the time they were done listening to the song, they were down and out and broke in the Philippines, guys. So choose your relationship wisely. Choose the family wisely. Also, understand that if you see red flags, don't act like you don't see them. Remember, stop look and listen if you listen more than you talk you'll hear what she's really saying because you have to listen to what she's saying because all of us can put our best foot forward right guys and we can be on our good behavior for a while but under pressure the real us comes out and it's the same with them it's the same with everybody i was told one time that you never know how strong a tea bag is until you put it in hot water well watch them when they're talking on the phone Watch them when they're dealing with their family. When they go into that secret code and start talking in Visayan, watch the expressions. Make sure that you see what you see, guys, before you dive in. Don't dive in before you know what the water's like. So how do you choose a good Filipino? By thinking with this head, by watching with your eyes, and by listening with your ears and by not leading with your wallet. Remember that, guys. Don't ignore the red flags. Red flags in any situation means danger. 
Danger Will Robinson. So this is what we wanted to say. We appreciate you here at Junior Lion Williams Adventures. The reason that we put out content like this is because we want you to have your best life now, whether it's in the US, whether it's in Europe or Canada or in the Philippines or any other Asian country. But the same rules apply, guys. Buyer, beware. Dater, beware. And especially if you're over 60, and you're watching them dancing in the, in the, in the film, there's an LDR, and you're just opening up your wallet. If you're never coming to the Philippines, that's fine. Fair exchange ain't robbery. But remember, if you're really coming over here and that person you see in the camera or in the, in the laptop or wherever you're watching at, if you're really planning on meeting them, do your homework, guys. Get over and see if what you see is really what you think you see. All right, guys, beware, but also good luck. And here at Junior Lion Williams Adventures, we're hoping that you find the right one if that's what you're looking for. So we'll see you next time. And remember, as we always say here, enjoy every day because tomorrow is not promised. Make it a good one, guys. We'll see you next time.